happen if we put that down and you just biked off of it, like, moving? I don't know, we can find out. <laughs> I drive this bike off the church into this bush. And everyone's like, dude, no way. And he's be the one. One pound, Rick and Tony. Coming up. He was sleeping in, in uh, De Camillo rub poop in his face. <laughs> Woke me up, I put on my face. I'm f***ing just did even or something. I'm going to kick him in the face. I can break his nose. Just dump jelly on him or something. Jelly? <laughs> put on my face. And you're talking about jelly. We're in for a dig from my Rick, did I meet you before? Probably, but probably not. Right. How long you did? Yeah. First time I met Ross, just because I'd seen, you know, early CKY videos. And, yeah, right. Uh, I was already kind of a fan. You would know. <laughs> yeah. We go to Westchester. Jump in the toilet. Swim. <laughs> I don't know. Make them happy. So, uh, how often do you jump in the poo stoop? Uh, this would be my first time in an actual yeah. poo stoop, but I jumped in it. Oh, One of my favorite oh. things about it was just... Hang your tattoo, Hang your tattoo, Hang your tattoo. Hang your tattoo. <laughs> My mom made a table outside and he had to eat alone because he reeked too bad. <laughs> so I poo dive for at least a week, I know that, and it could have been much longer. I can't remember the last time I showered. <laughs> oh, the barbie. See you later, buddy. We'd be done shooting for the day and we'd everybody go back to the hotel or clean up and we'd all go out and be at dinner at the bar at that same night. He usually smells really bad. <laughs> he would not bathe. Hated one. Have a sweet smile. All the women like you. Ooh. People like me have to go around diving in the every day. Hey, man. Well, you got a tough job. Oh, look at me. Look, I'm pretty Jeff everywhere Lee. I go. Yeah. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I hated that, and that was like 10 years ago. Imagine how much I hate it now. I've got 10 years to to to, to marinate on hating water, and now here I am, back, getting tossed into water. It's a huge, big, disastrously annoying circle. Ryan was uh, number two. Basically, we put Ryan on the roof of a van. stepped in to uh, up the failure rate to an all-time high. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he sees the Hollywood movie, comes up to you and says, hey, saw you shove something up your ass. You're that dude who shoved the car up your ass. <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> Ryan Dunn walks in. I go, well, willing to do something that he knows is going to fail. He knows it's going to hurt. Such grace and style. He was the epitome of a jackass, you know. 
What, uh, what have you been kind of out before you did it? I put a toy car in my butt. You really have to ask me that. We were filming the first movie, and Steve-O... It just has to be done. It's too good not to be done. I'll do it. Want to? Don't think I'm crazy and I want to go get hurt, or I want to shove things into my butt. I just know that it'll be funny, so I'm going to go do it. Now, I'm lubing up... I can't see the car. The little toy car. Because I'm going to put it in my butt. <laughs> he just... You know what? I think because... You know, Dunn got caught shoving that tiny Corvette up his butt. And, get uh, caught. <laughs> and everybody talks about it. So I'm like, well, shit, if everybody remembers that, then I'll do anal bead kite. And then ever since that, I'm like, branded on my ass. I don't care. Like, so I just have a lot of bits involving my ass. Knoxville has prescription lotion, and that's all he uses. And I got it. But I got something else. Horse Slippery. I recommend maybe the soap based material or vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. This is a poor polymer, by the way. What is polymer? Polymer is uh, a, a chemical. No, don't, don't do that. I believe Ryan Dunn knows what he's doing. Pranked. By the time when I'm speeding because I'm a punk kid, he's driving like 110 miles. Flips, opens up the passenger door, just flies out in the center median over the oncoming traffic. Yeah, Ryan was all bloody and broke the window with his head. Rab was totally fine. My part of the car- It's just the worst time of my entire life. And um, to this day, like, I hate talking to April, Bam's mom, about it because she hated me. And to this day, she probably still has a little bit of hate in her for that accident right there. And I don't This is the new race car. Uh, we're prepping it now for this year's 12-hour endurance race. And won't be landing in fifth or fourth or third. We'll be landing in first, or else I'd be very upset. He is a good race car driver. He did do a race. And <laughs> Should be second round right now. Just Are you hurt? Oh god, you don't even understand. You gotta be you sick. Good. Yeah. Blood clot, <laughs> nerve damage. All because of this garbage. So shoot. <laughs> You're all you bam bam for like fuck off. I just put two needles in my body. That was fun. Gotta go do some more. So let's shoot. Yeah, <laughs> So not only did he have this blood... Get anybody. And now I like a good 20%. Who would have thought? A mangled mess is all that is left of Ryan Dunn's car after an early morning accident on Route 322 and Pottstown Pike. There was some pretty high speed involved in this. The vehicle missed a turn, hit a guardrail, and went airborne and went through several trees, some sizable. So there was a very vicious collision involved in this thing. And now, friends and family are left stunned at how... Er stars so distant the light that left them ages ago just came into view that twinkling we're seeing now may be there's been rumors before on the internet about ages some of the cast done fast and he always did I wish Zach Hartwell was also in that car.